So today I am mounting roof rails. I got these rails from Vantech. And so they um, are not the uh, factory roo roof rails, but I actually like them a little bit better. Um, one, they come with this gasket that you put on, which is gonna help to keep it from scratching and um, help from vibration and also I think seal a little bit better. Um, and then it also comes with lock washers and regular washers, which I've talked to a couple of people who have ordered the factory rails and they did not come with washers. So it comes with these, um, these Allen head screws that, that you screw down in to the top of the rails. Um, and then you can, um, and then you just, you set it into the holes on the roof and uh, then screw it in from inside the van. So I'm gonna show you how you uh, open up those holes and uh, let's get on top of the van. Okay, so I'm up on the van now, or up on a ladder, and I've already taken out all of these except for the last, um, the last one. So I just wanted to show you how to do this. Um, what you do is, with a heat gun, you're gonna heat this up. And it only needs to be heated for about 20 or 30 seconds. The adhesive um, loosens up really quickly. So I'm gonna do that. Just blow it directly on there. and then just get a screwdriver underneath it. And pliers, I do pliers on the other side and it just pops out like that. Now, the best way to get this adhesive off is to heat it back up. It's kind of, um, well, actually I'm able to get that off pretty good. It's still, still pretty soft. If it cools off, then just heat it back up a little. It comes off a lot better if it's heated a little bit. Scrape off as much as you can and then clean it with uh, goo off or something like that. So found that this will clean it pretty well if it's already most of the adhesive's gone, but if there's a lot of adhesive, this won't, just won't get through it. So that's pretty good there. And then I'm gonna take some acetone and Clean it with acetone as well to get the last of the residue off. And then I'm cleaning the whole rail with acetone because uh, that gasket, I want it to be clean underneath. So you can see now I've got uh, three of them left here. And so what I'm doing is even though it has that gasket, I'm putting a little bit of butyl tape on here just to make sure I have a really good seal. So I'm cutting about one inch squares you can get this butyl tape on Amazon. You're going to use it a lot uh, on a van if you're installing a, a fan or um, solar panels or things like that. So it's good to just have some. I find that it's easier to peel off the, the backing or the, actually the front before you stick it down. Once you stuck it down, it's kind of hard to get up. Now I'm going to cut another one. I'm going to cut these three. So peel off the backing and then put it over that one okay so I've got all the holes covered with butyl tape and now I'm ready to install the rail all I'm gonna do is bring it up here set it on and just punch the the screws through these uh, holes where the butyl tape is Okay, so all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna line up these screws with the holes that are in the roof. I'm gonna get them right there, make sure they're all lined up, they are. And then I'm just gonna flip it over and just pu push this through the tape. And do that all the way down. Okay, that's it. Now we'll go down inside and we'll just screw these in.
Okay, so you can see right here where the screw is poking through. It has pushed the butyl tape through, so I'm just going to clean that off, the butyl tape off. And then I'm going to put a washer, a lock washer, and a nut on there. Oops. Now you do want to make sure that you um, do roof rails. If you want roof rails, if you ever think you might need roof rails, you're going to want to do this before you finish your ceiling because you have to be able to get underneath here to tighten these, these nuts up. Um, I have put up the, my Havelock wool on my, on my ceiling, but I left it off on the side so that I could get at this. You just tighten it up. You want to tighten it snug. You don't want to over tighten it. And deep, which might deform the rails on the roof. And there I go. That's pretty snug right there. That's good. That's all there is to it. So I'm going to tighten the rest of these up. My 8020 material is coming later today. So I'm going to actually build a rail system for my solar panels. So stay tuned for that. I'm also doing an upgrade on the speakers uh, in the doors and the tweeters and the dash which make a huge improvement in the sound quality of the, of the stereo, of the, of the factory stereo. So um, check out, um, I'll be uploading that video in the next day or two. Thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe to our channel and um, also hit the bell to get alerts whenever we put up new content. Uh, we'll also link to some of the things we use, the butyl tape um, and other, other items. Uh, one thing about a heat gun, if you don't have a heat gun, the cheapest, best place to get one is Harbor Freight. You can get one for about $15 to $20. That'll work great. You don't need to spend a lot of money on a heat gun, but they're nice to have uh, when you need them. So thanks for watching.